Hi, I'm Mike Stanton, still here on site at the Bomb Buyer Texas Public Finance Conference in Austin. I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk, and this is our BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. Grant, uh, this week was all about inflation numbers. What did the news say, and how did the market react? I think the Fed has to be pretty happy with, uh, with what they saw this week, so we continue to see a little bit softer uh, numbers. The CPI year-over-year year was, uh, was just up 5%, which is a little bit lower than expectations, and and PPI 2.7%. So uh, bonds have been uh, on a little bit of a tear, especially munis. I mean, we're up, uh, or actually we're lower in, in yields by about 50 basis points this year and 100 basis points uh, since November. So, um, you know, next week will be a little bit of a test supply-wise. We've got uh, almost $9 billion, which is a nice... Uh, um, a nice calendar, uh, especially given what we've been used to. We're also going to see 2.4 billion Illinois uh, GO, which is uh, the first time we're going to see that uh, that name come to market since they were upgraded to A3. And taking a step back, this past week was a very busy week for the BAM insured calendar. Uh, we insured about $350 million of the Irvine Facilities Financing Authority transaction. That was highlighted in our BAM Credit Insights video last week with Todd Tomich, and you can still view it on the, the BAM YouTube page. Uh, other major transactions last week uh, included <laughs> the Savannah R3 school district in Missouri. That was a Raymond James deal, about uh, $33 million. And the city of Corcoran, uh, Minnesota, uh, excuse me, the uh, Savannah was $25.5 million. Corcoran, Minnesota is also $25.5 million. That was priced by Piper. Uh, looking ahead to next week, as you said, the overall calendar is, is busier. The BAM calendar is a little bit lighter. Uh, transactions we're looking at are include uh, the Zeeland Public Schools up yep. in Michigan. That's uh, $33 million, priced by Stiefel. And the Adams County School District number one in Colorado. They call it the Maplewood Schools uh, just outside Denver. Uh, that's priced by RBC and should be about $24 million. Any other uh, thoughts as we look going to next week? No, we're, uh, the market's, you know, very healthy and, and we expect kind of, uh, you know, rates to trend lower. We are seeing a little bit of credit spread widening, so uh, we continue to see a lot of demand for, uh, for insurance, especially in the secondary. And of course, the topic uh, du jour here in uh, Texas Public Finance is all about new issuance, uh, focused on when we're going to see more of that, uh, especially to meet the infrastructure needs down here in Texas, uh, still the fastest growing state in the country and uh, BAM's busiest state by transaction. So thanks for joining me here in Austin Thank this you, week. Mike. We'll talk to you soon.